If you want to create links in documents, then you can use hyperlinks inside of Adobe InCopy. So to add in hyperlinks is quite easy. So I'm just going to uh, type in something like click here to go to TutorTube YouTube channel. So let's say I have this right over here. So let's say I want to turn the click here section into a hyperlink. So I'm just going to go and select this around so I can go and turn this into a hyperlink so that when uh, users click on it, it takes uh, the users to TutorTube YouTube channel. So I'm just going to go to type right over here and from type, I'm going to go to hyperlink. And over here, you can see that there's hyperlink. New hyperlink is an option. So I can just go over here and click on new hyperlink. And over here, now I have a choice to uh, link it to URL, a file, an email, page, text anchor, and so forth, just like this. So I'm just going to go around here and I can also access these same settings from Windows right here. And then from Windows, I can go to hyperlinks. So hyperlink panel opens up. And then what I can do is I can press the create new hyperlink button right here. And once I do that, you can see that I got the same option right there. So I'm just going to go around and choose URL. And over here uh, in the URL, URL, I'm just going to type in my YouTube address. I'm so just going to say www.youtube.com slash tutor tube, just like this. So once I do that, I can work around with its appearance over here. So I can share the hyperlink destination. I can work around with alternative text as well. Like I'm just going to say YouTube channel over here. So now once I go to appearance over here, you can see that the default style applied is a hyperlink. So there is a bit of an underline going on right over there, or I can go to character style and define a new character style for the hyperlink. So I'm just going to do the same. So I'm just going to say link is the style name. I'm going to go to the character format and then I'm going to choose, let's say Arial. I'm going to choose bold and I'm going to go around and choose size. Let's say for example, 12 for this one. So 12 point font size, and then I'm going to go to character color, choose, let's say, for example, uh, the magenta color right here, and I'm going to press OK. And I can see that that has been applied. And over here, what you can also do is you can have a visible or invisible rectangle for the PDF file that will be exported. So I'm just going to keep it as visible rectangle and highlight will be an outline. The color of the highlight is going to be, let's say, Pete's color over here. So style can be dashed out. Uh, so it looks like a button just like that. So once that is done, I can press OK right over here. So I can link anything else. I can link a file so I can choose a file over here and then link that out over here as well to a file. I can link, link it out to an email right here so that whenever someone clicks, the email clients open up. I can link it to a page within the document as well. So I can choose different pages over here. If I have many pages, I can link to a text anchor if I have set some anchor right there. And I can also go for some shared destination. So in this example, I'm just going to choose URL. So I just need to retype that out www.youtube.com slash tutorTube and I'm going to press OK. So the link has been created just like this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to export this out. So I'm just going to go to file and then I'm going to go to export right here. And then I'm going to export this out as a PDF format. And let's see how that looks like. So I'm not going to worry about the PDF settings. I'm just going to hit export. And over here, this is a hyperlink now. So if I were to go over here and then click on it, what happens is that the page opens out. So just like this, you can see that the page is opening out right here. And there's the TutorTube YouTube channel. So that is how you can add in hyperlinks inside of Adobe InCopy. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.